Hi guys, this is the 100 day project, the series where I do a small craft project every day for 100 days in a row. So even if you only have 30 minutes a day to spend crafting, these videos are perfect for you. So I am hoping they will inspire you and motivate you and maybe you can even craft along with me. So welcome, my name is Margaret and I am from the Netherlands. Hi guys. Let's finally make this pocket in the front of the journal. Yes, it's it's chunky. It is really, really chunky. And I still have some ideas. So I had so my, many ideas for a pocket in the front. I just, I just couldn't choose. That's why it took me so long. Um, what I want to make here in the front, yes, is a pocket. Yeah. But I also wanted to make an identity card. So why not have the identity card as a pocket? Yeah, so I want to make a cute little pocket like an identity card and embellish it and, you know, and such. So let me show you um, what items I will be using for today's project. You know, by now for this project, I'm going all in. So I'm using lots of beautiful Tim Holtz stuff and such. Um, I got some of his new release items. These are, don't you like my lovely little new pouches? Yes, I even have one smaller size. It's so, so cute. Uh, it's just called Photomatic. Yes, Photomatic. So I have all these lovely, beautiful people and I've chosen Gretchen. Yes, she looks like an adventurer to me. Yeah. Then for paper, I've used, um, these are called backdrops. Backdrops, yes. I did not have the backdrops. There, there are five by now. <laughs> I have all five now. Um, this is volume number one. There was an image on here. Um, I cut it up. <laughs> I just cut it up. Love this one. This was the backing. And um, what was the front? Oh yeah, this one. This was the front. So I used that one. Because it sort of looked like an identity card. Just, you know, have this. So that's what I was thinking. Now, I need to do some stamping. I'm going to use um, Tim Holt stamps. Probably this one. Uh, this is correspondence. I think it will sort of correspond well. <laughs> um, all my bits and bobs uh, that I have. Uh, that are made with these uh, die cut sets they are fantastic <laughs> they're actually really really great this is chapter three and it's i believe it's called collector yeah so i keep hearing a lot about these from you guys that oh yeah i have them never use them use them guys because they're amazing um what else i'm gonna be using yes uh bits and bobs i think poster stamps tickets don't know don't know uh, I'm going to do some stamping, some inking, not really that fancy stuff, but you know, the good stuff. I'm going to use the good stuff. Um, my idea is just first make the identity card, have it on here as a pocket. And I also want to do some embellishing here and here, but I don't know what yet. Let's, let's find out. So I'm going to concentrate on the pocket first. What I did, I cut her out and I sort of deckled etched her. <laughs> I don't know if I'm happy with it. I might make this smaller depending on you know what else we'll do uh this is going to be the identity card that's going to be on here yeah but it has been used because it's from 1930 something so i'm going to distress it against my better judgments i'm using this tool again <laughs> uh let's just see what we can do i especially want to sort of distress um the corners on this one well especially this corner this is going to have like the picture so i cannot do anything really bad to this corner <laughs> however i can sort of grunge this one up oh and a little bit over here as well yes let's do a bit over here uh, i almost want to sort of rip it see you don't need this tool shall i try the tim holtz one Shall I invest in the Tim Holtz one just to see, just to find out if that one does work. Well, it does sort of work, but honestly, you can do this with your scissors, with the back of your scissors. Okay. Oh yeah, that is, this, is, this is really good. Grungy, grungy, grungy. Now, 
Uh, I'm gonna ink it, of course. Try to grunge this up a little bit more. Maybe I can sort of lift this. Yes, lovely. I'm going to go a dark ground espresso. Espresso. Oh, speaking of coffee, do you want some? Yeah, we want some coffee staining, whatever there. There you go. Grunge it up, lovely. You like it? Is this grunge enough for us? Probably is. Ooh, look at all the mess I'm making. I'm making a mess. That's okay. I have stuff for that. Yes. Baby wipes. Yes, you convinced me to have baby wipes. Don't like them. No, there no, there's no lotion in it, but it doesn't sort of dry well because uh, there's no alcohol in it. I just like my lazy housewife wipes better. <laughs> okay, so we also need to ink her. Are we going to make her smaller? I think we are. I think we are. I think the border goes really well um, with the picture uh, and the, the background, but actually, I think I'm going to make her a little bit smaller and then distress her again. There you go, Gretchen. I'm making you smaller. I wish somebody would do that to me. Just make me smaller. I want to fit in another size. <laughs> Okay, using this tool again. This was not my idea. I was just going to have her on as she was, but you know, I want to see a little bit more of the, of the background, I guess. See, that doesn't work nicely at all. But it could be this tool. I have no idea what the brand is. This was a cheap one. I was like, well, let's just try it out. Yeah. Destroyed your whole picture, Gretchen. Right. Oh, yeah. Well, that looks nice. does look better, doesn't it? It does. Looks a lot better even. Yes, now it's more authentic. Well, at least I think so. See, now it says article number. Much, much better. Yes, but then we need to distress this corner a little bit more. Let's have a video on how to destroy your papers. Yeah. Just gonna rip a bit. Yes, there you go. Yeah, we're going to lose all of this. I know, I know, I know. Yes, so she's going to be on here. Now, I do want stuff in the background, of course. I was thinking um, to add a little bit more of the green. Um, and I really want to highlight her name here. I do have this. We could do sort of this. Half on this photograph and half off of it. I think that'll look amazing. And have a little stamp here or, you know, something in the background. Um, I tried the die cut set on some map because I thought that might look okay. And it, it actually does. Well, maybe we can have this sort of in the background. Yes, I'm going to add brats. Yes. Um, I have a ticket, a real ticket in these colors. Let's have a look. It's the exact same color. I'm just going to take one off. Because we love the numbers, of course. We could have this. Remove this, move this a little bit closer. Yeah. 
What I also did was this, guys. Um, it is in the die cut set. Which one is it? Yes, this one. This one. I don't know. Normally, I wouldn't use these sort of things because they are way too fiddly. And um, where's my tweezers? You really need your tweezers for this. Can we do something like this? Where are all the... See, like so? I don't know. I don't know. What do you think? I think it looks nice. Could work. Hello, tweezers. And then in a straight line, of course. I think it's going to be nice. I also want a real poster stamp. Something green. Let's see. Here are my green ones. Ooh. There you go, Juliana. And with this piece of paper still on. Oh, well, that's fantastic. Yes, but we also want some stamping. Now, there are two of these elements on. I need a third one. Um, I have these arrows. Let's see. Oh, yeah. When in transit. When in transit. Okay. Stamp here. Here. Don't know what yet. Number here. Don't know. Do we need something? Poking out there. Just, you know. Having like, hello. A little peek. What else do we have? No. No love. It's okay. Keep it like this. Yes, keep it like this. Um, what am I going to do? I'm going to distress this. Do we have a piece of paper underneath that we can use for distressing? We can. Been practicing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, with what? Again, guys, I keep I keep getting questions. Write it down. Tiny toadstools. <laughs> I have so many comments about this one. What's the splatter stamp from? Uh, I comment my... Um, let's have vintage photo. I comment my... I un answer my comments on my telephone. That's why I have a very sore thumb. I have like... What's this called? Yes. No nice. It's called no nice. Um, yeah, I need to stop using my telephone. So, yeah, I answer my comments on my telephone. And I, I answer it so many times. What this... Um, stamp is from that once i um type in tiny toadstools just magically appears <laughs> because i use it so much yeah so tiny toadstools that is um the name of this set i'm just gonna use this bit i am just going to cut this off because there are so many lovely numbers on here yeah but there you go did it work yes sort of it sort of did and we're also gonna have some here yeah while we're at it yes do some more here and there and there it is a fantastic stamp and honestly i think the stamp set is lovely with uh toadstools and such they're tiny as the title says um the whole set is worth this one yeah. Now, this is a fake one, guys. Yes, this is one that I bought years ago on AliExpress. I didn't even know who Tim Holtz was. I didn't buy it for this one. I bought it for the toadstools. Yeah. Right. Are we going to distress this? Yeah, I cannot ink this. These are way too tiny to ink. I already lost one. Oh, here. Here it is. Uh, I'm just going to do this. Now this will have to do. It just ha it will have to do. It is what it is. It is what it is. So I'm going to do these first. Where? Where's Art? Good morning, Art. How are we today? Yes. Well, let's talk about the weather for a bit. It is very sunny at the moment uh, here in the Netherlands. So I'm really happy about this. Here goes nothing, guys. I'm not used to doing this. 
let's put this one on the top this is number two Yes, number two. I have to be honest, when he came out with these uh, die cut sets, I was like, come on, Mr. Tim Holtz. Seriously. You can cut all of this by hand. You can. You can. Absolutely. But not as neat. And not uh, these tiny, tiny bits. I also saved all the letters. See, these ones that come from the... I'm not going to use these. No, I'm not that person. Well, this looks nice, doesn't it? Oh, does it? Does it? Really? Needs to dry. Yes. So, she's going to go on here. We're going to have nothing underneath there. This one's going to go underneath here. Yes. How about Juliana? Where was she going? Are we, were we using this? We were, right? Oh, I forgot. I forgot now. I'm just going to put this one on first. Yes. What else? This goes on later. I think this one goes here. And Juliana here. This needs to be a little bit lower. Or have this on like so. Yep. Now Juliana can go on uh, later. Let's let's just do her first. Do we need anything here in the corner? No, love. It's okay. I have had uh, Tim Holtz stuff, a um, couple of his things. For a couple of years but you know i know it's expensive and such but you know uh we don't want to waste them you know what is a waste keeping them in drawers and forgetting about them and not using them just use them guys i know it's difficult and hard but just use them just use them yes it's gonna go on here and then juliana is gonna go on here i love the piece of paper that's sticking out There you go. Yes, were we forgetting something? Oh yeah, this one. Did we not put Juliana up here? I don't know. I'm not gonna put this on yet, just yet. I'm gonna put this on later after we stamped uh, for a little bit. Uh, let's put just put this one on. I have breads, right? Yes, lovey, you have loads of breads, yes. I need a pokey tool. I need a pokey tool to make some holes. I have my pokey tool and my brads, but first I'm going to stick it on so it will stay in place. The brads are just, you know, for decoration. There you go, Gretchen.
Okay. I put something underneath here. Carefully poke a hole. How are we going to poke a hole through all these layers? Oh, it'll be fine, no, it'll be fine. Worked. Is it big enough for my brats? It is. Oh, already love it. Already love it. Don't look at the back. Isn't the back beautiful? Yep. This one needs to be bigger. I'm going to put tape over it because uh, this is a pocket and we're going to put stuff in here, yeah? And I do not want the stuff to get sort of um, stuck in these brats. That's why I'm putting on a little bit of tape. Yes, perfect. Now. Uh, we need a little bit of stamping. I already sort of made the puzzle. Yeah. Um, I'm going to have this on here. This on here and this on here. And then this on this number. And this probably somewhere. Somewhere. Um, I'm using pine cone. Pine cone. Not black for this one. Now we did sort of curl this up. So hopefully I'm just going to test it. Yes, handle with care. Well, she didn't <laughs> because it looks like a mess. There we go. And then number 1411 over here. Yep. And 47257. This is going to go on here and do that first. And then I'm going to sort of do this somewhere. Have you seen my um, stamp video yesterday? It's not out yet while I'm fil filming this. So I don't know if you're, if you're watching it. I had so much fun um, with all the stamping. It's a really, really nice video. If I do say so myself. Um, but I got such inky fingers. I cannot get the ink off my nails. So yeah. <laughs> I have no clue how to fix this. I might try. See some. There's, I might try, uh, try some um, nail polish remover. Maybe that works. I don't know. I've been scrubbing them. Washing them. Okay, I'm going to let this dry for just a second. I think I'm going to have this, this one over here. Yeah, yeah, that looks best. It just looks like it's real. Well, almost. Absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. Now, before we glue it on, I, I want to do some background stamping um, on the inside cover itself. So let's spill some coffee first. Um, I'm going to put this over the acetate just to sort of cover it up. And then put this one over here. I'm going to do it like so. Yes, I'm going to do it like so. Uh, this is going to be coffee with milk, <laughs> with cream. So not espresso. This bit is moving. Why? Why are you moving? You should stay on the acetate. Yeah. Coffee. I also want something here, but you know, don't know what yet. Don't know what yet. Now she's going to be on here and she's going to look amazing. Amazing. I'm not going to glue her all the way to the bottom, which means I need something distressing on the bottom 
just just a little something peeking out see just just well don't know if you can see just a little bit also here yeah and then i have a piece of this ticket left and i was thinking to have just this number peeking out here Psst, why not <laughs> why not it just looks cute using art for this no no need to use art for this of course because it's just paper on paper but you know Let's have a look. She's going to go on here. And then this is going to go. Here. Yeah. Just have a little bit of interest in the background. Do we want to do some stamping there? You probably do. Um... I'm having this one, so why not? What does this say? I don't know. I've never used it. Oh, postal, telegram, whatever, whatever. Yeah, let's have that one here. And then something there. But what? Hmm. Register or letter? No. US mail service. I, I, for certain, know I want this one here. Is this one big enough? No, it's not. No, it's not, lovely. Lucky for me, I have a bigger one. Uh, black, brown? Well, let's do brown for today. Why not? Yes. Was this brown? Yeah. Looks almost black, right? On on the green color. Yes. I'm thinking label. I'm thinking label. Um, Tracy, my dear, where are you? I did put her out, but can't find it. I'm going to have a look for my labels. Found my labels. Um, I have something here picking out. That's a label on the front, but you see the white sort of backing of this so maybe we can put like a small tiny one on here something like this but i have to check if it will sort of now uh, be visible on the front um i just want a label here field note book well that's actually perfect. that's actually perfect that's actually perfect. I am going to snip these. It's be a little bit smaller. Because it is actually a field notebook. Yeah. A little bit of inking. Also, I have a little piece here. Um, a little bit of spread. There you go. A dirty field notebook. Yes, yes. Luffy, there you go. Oops. Yep. I probably have a little bit of splatter left, sure. Just needed a tiny bit. Now let's quickly have a look. Um, if this will see through on the front. I don't think it will. But just to be sure. 
guys. I'm going to take out my glue stick because I need to sort of maneuver it about. I'm just going to put glue on this edge. So there's not going to be any glue on the acetate. I think this will work, but let's just check. Yes, see, it doesn't, it doesn't shine through. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. I think this is it, guys. Let's just put her on. It is just all sorts of loveliness, isn't it? <laughs> I really like it. Okay, I'm going to glue here. On the bottom. And here. Have her on straight. She's just fantastic. I think this is it. Let's look at the end result. Here she is, the lovely Gretchen. Yes, I did some more stamping. I did this and this and this and this. I just, you know, it needed a little bit more. So yeah, let's let's look up close to Gretchen. Isn't she lovely? No, she doesn't have a mole there. <laughs> just just something, a piece of paper. Yes. It's just, it looks like an identity card, doesn't it? Well, in my imagination, it does. So cute. And yeah, well, we're going to make uh, a tag in it. It's going to have something behind, but it really doesn't need to because it's already lovely. Love it. Guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I am still so enjoying this um, this journal, but we are coming to an end because she cannot um, hold a lot of this. Yeah, I am. I am sort of having Scotty in my head. If you are Trekkies, Captain, the ship can't take much more of it. She's about to blow. <laughs> That's my Scotty impersonation. Guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I am back again tomorrow uh, with another video. And hope to see you then. Bye.